Hello, good day viewers. As part of our lesson for solving problems related to symmetrical functions of quadratic roots, today I'm here with only one example to solve, which is uh, alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4. Given that alpha and beta are the quadratic roots of this, hence we are asked to find the value of this. And remember, whenever you are given problems under symmetrical functions, all you have to do first is to find the sum and the product of the roots. The sum meaning alpha plus beta, this is giving us negative b over a. And you know that b is the coefficient of the middle term, which we have here as 4. So we have negative 4 over the leading coefficient a, which is 2 here. If you simplify, you get negative 2. And hence, negative 2 is the sum of these quadratic roots. And the product, which is alpha times beta, is equal to c over a, where c is the constant, a is the leading coefficient, so we have 1 over 2. And the sum and the products are negative 2 and 1 over 2, respectively. Hence, let us keep these two values aside. We have the sum to be equal to negative 2, and we have the product to be equal to 1 over 2. And we are going to use these values in finding the solution for this problem. Um, this is what we have to evaluate, but we don't know the value of alpha and we don't know the value of beta. If to say we know them, we can just take the power of 4 to each one of them and add them together. But since we don't know them, we know that if we expand alpha plus beta to the power of 4, we shall obtain two terms that correspond to alpha to the power of 4 and beta to the power of 4. And to do that, you know, this can also be written as alpha plus beta to the power of 2 multiplied by alpha plus beta to the power of 2. From loss of indices, this is the same thing as this one. And the expansion of this is equal to alpha squared plus beta squared plus 2 alpha beta. The same thing to the other factor. We have alpha squared plus beta squared plus 2 alpha beta. Now we can equally expand these two brackets. And uh, this is going to be a little bit longer. Alpha squared times alpha squared is going to be alpha to the power of 4. Alpha squared times beta squared is going to be alpha squared beta squared. Then alpha squared times 2 alpha beta is going to be 2 alpha cubed because we have a power of 1 here and a power of 2 here. Making 3, we have beta. Then we use the second term to expand. Plus alpha squared beta squared this and this. This and that will be beta to the power of 4. Then the last is going to be 2 alpha beta cubed. Then we take the last one. We distribute. This time this is going to be 2 alpha cubed beta plus this time this is going to be 2 alpha beta cubed and the last 2 times 2 is 4 then alpha beta times alpha beta is going to be alpha beta squared now let us collect the like terms. We can see alpha to the power of 4 here. We can see beta to the power of 4 here. We can join them together. So we have alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4. And alpha squared, beta squared, we have 1 here. We have 2 here. And we have 4 of them here, making 6 of them. So plus 6 alpha beta squared. You know, this also can be written as alpha beta squared from loss of indices. So we have taken this 
um, we have taken this, we have taken this, we have taken this, we have taken this. Now let us group all this together. We have two alpha cubed beta. Uh, we have two alpha cubed beta, making four of them. So we have four alpha cubed beta. This is gone. This is also gone. Then plus. Um, we have this and this, making four of them alpha, beta, cubed. All right. This is equal to alpha to the power of four plus beta to the power of four plus six alpha beta squared plus they have four in common and they have alpha beta in common. So we have four alpha beta. Then in the bracket we have from here we have only alpha squared left plus here we have beta squared left. So this is the only term we need to simplify again. Alpha squared plus beta squared from our previous knowledge, we know that it is the same thing as alpha plus beta squared. So I can even start from here. I can say four alpha beta. Then we know that to expand this, it is the same thing as alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. Then backward we have six alpha beta squared plus alpha to the power of four plus beta to the power of four. So we have just finished expanding this, but this is exactly what we are looking for. You can see it here. Um, this is the expansion of alpha plus beta to the power of four, but this is exactly what we are looking for. So we can make it the subject of this equation by saying alpha to the power of four plus beta to the power of four is equal to, you take this, alpha plus beta to the power of four, the minus the whole, everything you have to the right. We start from this, this is six alpha beta squared plus four alpha beta times alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. So we are going to now substitute for sum and the product in this expression just to find the real value of alpha to the power of four plus beta to the power of four. So to do that, we are going to say alpha plus beta is equal to negative two. And wherever we see product, we replace it with one over two. So from here we have alpha to the power of four plus beta to the power of four. This is equal to alpha plus beta to the power of four. Alpha plus beta is negative two. So we have negative two to the power of four minus the whole everything to the right. From here we have six, then times alpha times beta is one over two. But this one contain a squared, then plus four multiplied by alpha beta, and alpha beta is one over two. We have uh, times the whole of this. The first one we have alpha plus beta is negative two squared minus two times alpha beta is one over two. All right, this is equal to negative two to the power of four is 16. 16 minus one over two squared is one over four times six is six over four, which can be reduced to three over two plus four times half is two. So we have two multiplied by uh, negative two squared is four minus two times a half is one. Again, we can clean here. This is equal to 16 minus 
3 over 2 plus this minus 1 is 3. Then 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 6. We can rationalize that. This is equal to 16 minus um, 2 times 6 is 12. Then 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 over 2. So we want to find 16 minus 15 over 2. So finally, we have 2 times 16 is 32 minus 15 is 17 over 2. 2 and 17 over 2 is exactly the same thing as alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos